In the far north of Europe, on Russia's border with Finland, lies Karelia. The remote region bears traditions centuries old. And there are vast lakes. Karelia is home to different ethnicities with their own languages. And it is still an insider travel destination with hardly any tourists from abroad. Lake Onyega lies in the Russian part of Karelia and is the second largest lake in Europe. Mikhail Lupin works there as a tour guide, taking visitors to the island of Kiji. In 1990, UNESCO named Kiji a World Cultural Heritage Site. The island boasts some 80 buildings in unique Karelian wood construction. The crown jewel of the Kiji Ensemble is the 18th century Transfiguration Church. Its 22 little wooden domes are covered with shingles made of alder or poplar wood. Inside, icons grace the wooden iconostasis. The whole island is like one big open-air museum. Kiji is surrounded by about 5,000 smaller islands. Long ago, it was the site of pagan rituals. Today, mostly tourists come to visit the finely crafted wooden structures. Kiji is seven kilometers long and half a kilometer wide. In the summer, ships set off to the island from the city of Petrosavodsk, about 70 kilometers away. Just a couple of kilometers from Kiji, on another island, Mikhail Lupin lives with his family. No bus, taxi, or train comes here. When the leaves turn bright colors in the fall, Karelia's landscapes unleash their magic. The region of Karelia lies between the Baltic Sea and the White Sea. The part belonging to Russia is called the Republic of Karelia. Most inhabitants are ethnic Russians or Karelians, a Finno Ugric people. Evidence of human habitation of the area six or seven thousand years ago are the petroglyphs of Cape Pesov, or Cape Demon. The prehistoric designs were etched into the bedrock. In 2021, they were also declared a UNESCO World Cultural Heritage Site. Visible are over 500 representations of humanoid figures, fish, animals, and scenes from hunting and daily life. In Karelia, some traditions have endured over centuries, such as the Banya Pachonumu, or Black Sauna, here in the village of Kinyama. Karelian Ivan Kalmaikov is heating it up. Banya 
То есть комната вся в дыму во время топки. Видно по черным стенам, по черному потолку. У нас окошко открыто и дверь. Все, трубы нет. It takes a long time to heat the sauna. A whole five hours. То есть нагревает дым камни и, собственно, сам огонь. After the banya is heated, it's then aired out for an hour until the smoke is gone. Kinyama is one of the best preserved Karelian villages. And the ever-shrinking Karelian population is Orthodox Christian, like the ethnic Russians. But despite belonging to the Russian sphere of influence since medieval times, the Karelians have maintained their own language and culture, as well as their own cuisine. And Ivan's mother, Nadezhda Kalmaikova, serves regional dishes to visitors, like kalitki, baked pies with a semolina filling. Калитки – это э, очень древнее блюдо карельское, так как у нас в Карелии холодно, не было сахара, у нас не росла пшеница. Поэтому вся выпечка у нас из ржаной муки, и начинка везде была каша. As alternatives to semolina, Kalitki can be filled with mashed potatoes or rice. Then they bake for 10 to 15 minutes in a preheated oven. Nadezhda Kalmaikova and her son Ivan speak a mix of Karelian and Russian with each other, just like most Karelians. But many lost touch with their culture during Soviet times. С детства гордилась, что я карелка, но я с детства не говорила на языке. Нас не учили языку, потому что в советское время как-то было не принято. Сначала церковь нас русифицировала, потом Советский Союз нас русифицировал, да, и пошла очень сильная вот эта ассимиляция. Хорошее возрождение пошло, если бы Наконец, у нас стал корейский язык вторым государственным языком на республике, территории Республики Карелия. Этому пробивает общественность уже 30 лет, и никак не можем мы этого добиться. Михаил Люпен finds it unfortunate how the Karelian language and culture are gradually dying out. Just like some towns. Residents are migrating to the cities because small towns' infrastructures have been degrading since the Soviet Union fell. Mikhail Lupin is showing us the island of Lolikovo. It was once teeming with life, but is now almost deserted. Обратите внимание, нет электрических столбов. Здесь до сих пор нет электричества. Люди живут на со своими генераторами, солнечными батареями. But the sun is rare to be seen this far north, especially when the long Nordic winter sets in. And fuel for the generators is expensive. Not many people are prepared to lead such a trying life. Вымирает деревня. Поля зарастают обидно. Ведь деревня славится ничем, ни какими-то вещами. Вот выйди за околицу, скошенное поле, деревня, значит, живет. Выйди за околицу, заросшее поле, деревня все, гибнет. Поэтому у нас скорее второй вариант. Гибнет деревня, гибнет. Мы хоть и стараемся как-то, ну вот у нас две коровы, там еще две коровы, что-то что косим. Но здесь, я помню, два скотных двора было по 200 голов. Столько сена. Сейчас все земли запустения. Надежда Калмайкова's калитки are almost ready. Проверяем. It smells of wood and freshly baked treats. А проверяем вот так, поднимаем калитку. О, даже даже очень румяные. Дно твердое, значит калитка готова. Если дно мягкое, калитка еще не готова. Вот 
Once done, the pies are brushed with melted butter before being served. As the days grow shorter and the air cooler, the local people head to the black sauna. After six hours of preparation, the banya pachornumu is finally ready. The smoke is gone, and just its aroma lingers in the air. Birch switches are soaked in hot water to release their aroma and are used to massage the body. Only a few warm days left before Lake Onyega freezes over. Then the Karelian landscape will turn all white. Months of cold weather make life tough along Lake Onyega. The locals call it a sea due to its vast size and how rough it can get. <laughs> Immerse yourself in the vastness of Karelia, this quiet, magical landscape far in the north of Europe. And if you like this travel video from Karelia, please subscribe to our channel.